All right. So I'm going to stop, start at the top left, my top left. Um, and this person is standing in the anatomical position. And letter E, ah, come on. Here we go. Every time I go to type on it, it reloads. Letter E is the deltoid. All right, letter E is the deltoid. It looks like a delta. It's used to raise your arm, okay? G is the pectoralis. Major. Um, and what your pecs do is bring in your arms. A lot of men see that as a sign of strength, um, but the legs and the back would probably be the best signs of strength. And, and the core and the pecs are last. Because um, all the pecs do is bring things into the body, bring your arms in. Um, and then A, a lot of people know A. A is the biceps brachii. And that, when the biceps brachii contracts, it flexes your arm. And J is a sartorius. Okay. And what that is used is to sit in this Indian style as part of your groin. And I is the rectus femoris. Okay. <clears throat> Any questions? All right. Rectus femoris is part of your quads and that straightens your leg. So a kicker or a dancer, they have very good strong rectus femoris and that straightens your leg. And the muscle that straightens our arm is in the back of it and it's called your tricep. Great guy. So it's called tricep because three points of attachment. There's various ways to name the muscles. We're not going to go into that. If you go into advanced bio, allied health two, or medical careers, we will get into that. And C is your trapezius. It's trapped in the small of your back. Okay. And your trapezius helps move your shoulders and your neck. Um, it actually helps you tilt your head back and shrug your shoulders. And D is latissimus dorsi. That is the muscles in your back, all right? Lat means to the side, dorsi means back. And number K, letter K, is sounds like a gladiator, is your gluteus maximus. That's your big butt muscle. Um, and that's the thing. Your gluteus maximus is attached to your legs and your hamstring group, which is attached to your latissimus dorsi, which a lot of people strain. So one way to prevent strain is to stay loose. You should be moving your joints every morning and stretching every day. All right, H is your bicep femoris. And much like the bicep brachii, it is used to flex your leg. And F, this is the hardest one, is gastrocnemius. Gastro, got the O in there. And I messed up that spelling. It's difficult to spell. So that's, it looks like a stomach, I guess. Um, so those are the muscles that if we were gonna take a test, I would ask you to be responsible for major muscle groups. The other things are your abdominis rexus, that's your abs, um, there's your obliques on the sides. The, you know, we could go in and out of these a lot, but we're not. Um, so 
what I'd ask you to do is now that we have the diagram done, is read through the description and try one through 13 as you read through the description. Um, I'd read through the description once and then try to answer them. And if you have a question, let me know. Um, I'll go back to the skeleton. You should take a screenshot of that or a picture with your phone. 